Greetings, friends. Mad Matt Wankel here, um, with another one of these mod staff vlogs. Uh, I the last one seemed to do decently well, um, as well as we normally expect um, here with the mod staff, which I think is the topic of our conversation today. Um, it's hard to tell. I got like a lot of little half ideas in my head, and until we build up a better dialogue and I make sure that I know. Um, that everyone is going to be able to get a good gander on here and kind of know a little bit of our thoughts. Um, I'm not quite ready to go into some of the deeper topics that I kind of want to go into. Um, but today we want, I want to talk about numbers. Do you know how many people are members of the TGFC? Um, real quick, I want you to comment and tell me at this point um, before I start going into some of the answers to that, because there's many different answers depending on what you mean. Um, I want you to give me your gut feeling on what number that is. Okay? I will stand here for a second with my fingers steepled. Okay, that's enough time. And if you need to pause me to do it, you can. That's that's okay. And maybe, I don't know, whatever. We'll not worry about that later. Um... The number of members in the TGFC depends a lot on exactly how you define that question. Um, first, if you go to DeviantArt, because we are primarily a DeviantArt group, even though a lot of stuff happens in the Discord, all of our events get routed through DeviantArt, and they always have, and they always will, until DeviantArt does not function for our group. That is a promise that we make. You do not need to be a member of the Discord to be a member of the TG Fight Club. However, Discord, uh, sorry, DeviantArt has made it trickier to notice things happening with the group. Um, the Eclipse hit things hard. And so I totally understand if you don't necessarily know that we have, uh, we post all the events to the DeviantArt group. But we do. Anyway, if you go there and you look at the TGFC uh, group page... It says that we have 280 members registered on DeviantArt and 481 watchers. Okay? That's the number of DeviantArt people that we have. A lot of those people are people who haven't done anything. They've requested membership and then just kind of sat on it. Um, which I don't begrudge them. That's how life is sometimes. Uh, but that's, that's the number there. 280 on DeviantArt. On Discord... Um, we have 154 members listed in the Discord server. Uh, at the exact moment that I'm recording this, there are 40 people listed as being online with two of the mod staff, uh, giving us something like 110 people offline. Okay? Um, that's the number of people on Discord. Uh, or who have who are still signed in registered what's the term members of the server you know there's no numbers one of the things i wanted to do for this video is to go through each member on discord and figure out how long it's been since their last post but i looked at 150 odd people and thought nah this video doesn't need to be that scientific um okay so that's that number um the third number i want to bring up is uh, using my database. Uh, my database, for people who don't know, is I built a website um, that is still in the process of being updated for season 2.5, and I'm getting, I'm getting closer. I'm getting closer. Got just a handful of little more things that I want to sprinkle in. That'll be a video on its own soon enough, I'm sure. Um, but I record everybody's fight cards there, um, and so there's a handful that are probably still in my DAQ that I haven't gotten to yet because yesterday was busy um, and I need to figure out fix things and yeah like, anyway um, according to that uh, for all seasons excluding things that haven't been entered yet uh, there are 139 creators um, meaning a hundred uh, 536 characters although there's no season duplication stuff so some of the characters are in there three times so the 536 is not a useful number the 139 is a more useful number specifically for season two and two and a half um there are 99 creators with 387 characters again asterisk some of those characters are duplicates okay so 
um, database says 139 or 99. Um, and in the most recent pageant, um, we had... Uh, hold on. I'm suddenly remembering that uh, not all the characters got posted to DeviantArt, which means that they didn't get in my database because I didn't know about them as they got passed to gems separately. Um, so I'm doing the math. Uh, I believe there are 35 characters listed uh, for the pageant. Might be one or two more. Um, with 30 creators that I know about. Okay? So those are all the different numbers that I have to look at um, that I can easily try and figure out how many people are in the group. It is somewhere between the 30 creators who made something for uh, the 2022 pad, uh, TG pageant or 280 of people listed as being a DeviantArt member. Okay? That's the range. Um, and what that means... So, so, you know, that's... I don't think that there's a correct answer. It's a very nebulous thing. But what is... true is that when we post an event and you say, I'm not going to participate, that's not news. 90% of the group isn't going to participate when you look at it from a certain lens. And this is a fact that Gem and I have known for years. And it's really annoying because every event that we make, there are people who say, I'm not going to participate. And leave it at that. You know, honestly, school happens. Life happens. You can just be feeling a slump. All of that gets in the way of making art, and that's understandable. But gosh, is it disheartening when Gemini put out an art project. Because essentially, writing an event is creating a piece of art. Right? Let's get my art holding hand on screen. When we create something and we present it to the group, gosh, does it hurt to have people say, I don't like it. Because that's all that we can read. That's all that we can see. And it doesn't matter. You guys are artists. You know what this is like. When you post something and you get 10 people who say they like it and one person who says they hate it, your mind immediately focuses on the person who says they hate it. And every single event, we get comments like this. And I understand that, yes, to you, you are the most important person in the group. Totally get that. That's just how people do things. But what I would like is if before you make a comment, think about what the effect can have on other people. You know... Is your comment going to hurt the feelings of the people who put things together? Is your comment going to discourage other people from making art? Those are things and feelings that we don't want in the group. Um, my personal idea, and this might be a thing that's worth another video, um, of what the group is about is encouraging people to do art and trying to make that happen. And that's hard when people just say, I don't, I'm not going to participate. If you have a good reason to say, oh, sorry, with school coming up, I'm not going to be able to participate, that's absolutely fine. That's something that you can definitely share and we'll commiserate with you. If you um, say something along the lines of, I have things blinking, where are things blinking? Um, if you say, I don't want to do participate in this event because I don't find that setting interesting, that's also good feedback. We need good feedback. We're not mind readers. And um, uh, apparently 90% of the group don't participate in things. And we don't know why. We don't know how to help. When we put out surveys, when we ask questions, we want your feedback. We want you to say, hey, it'd be really great if we had something like this. If there was an option for this. We don't know what is going to inspire and motivate you. There's a handful of people that we can have a good idea of, but for the most part, we're trying things to see what works. And sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. And we want to know what works. 
and what would work better for you. Thank you. Um, question of the day. Um, slightly related to all that stuff that I just talked about here. What is the best way for you, you, to see things? Um, that was not enough of information. Um, when we post an event, a journal, uh, a vlog by a handsome and intelligent individual, uh, what is the best way for you to see that? If we post it on DeviantArt, do you see that first? Um, if it goes as an event as opposed to a journal, or, or like not an event, uh, um, just a regular entry posted into um, some, you know, the, the standard group folder, does that work? Um, does posting this uh, on the, uh, the Discord channel, is that the best way? Um, we have a TGFC Fight Club Twitter account. Would a Twitter account be something you can follow? I'm willing to try a handful of different things. Um, but every event that we run, another thing that we have to do, um, is tell people about it. When it, we try to do what we can to make it obvious that it's a thing, and yet there's still people who don't know that things are happening. And that's something that we would love to be able to fix by coming up with different ways of addressing, and we're willing to... We already post things and like post a link in like three different places. We can bump that up to five with not a lot of extra effort. We just need to know what are the best ways for us mod staff people, not just the mats, but all of the mod staff, to get a message to you. And if you could let me know, that would be absolutely fantastic. Please, if you have any questions about what the mod staff think about things or anything like that, we'd love to hear those. We'd love to answer those. Thank you guys for being awesome, and have yourselves a great day. How do I stop this? Buttons. What's fun is that I'm not going to edit this, and so all of this is going to be here at the end of the video. I found the stop button. See you guys later.